praise the Lord. I know about it that I know my life will blossom again. Everything's going to blossom again. God don't lie. When God say a word, I believe him in the name of Jesus. Say it will blossom again. Yeah. It's been like is it three weeks or a month that God gave me this particular and I don't know when to preach it or whatsoever. So it will blossom again. So turn with me. So we're going to see somebody's life that was once beautiful. <laughs> and then, you know, second Samuel. We're going to be reading in and out. So, praise the Lord. Second Samuel, so 15. And let's start with it. I think let's start with, let's say nine. That will be jumping, okay? Say, it will blossom again. It will blossom again. My life will blossom again. My life will blossom again. Everything. Everything. Concern, as so far as or as as long as it concerns me. As long as it concerns me. Any area of your life. Any area of your that life. That it life. looks so bad. That looks so bad. That you don't have anything to be proud of. You don't have anything to be proud and of. And you have people mocking you. You have people mocking and you. And say, let's see how it's going to be. Let's see how it's going to be. But God is telling the let's see people that it will blossom again. again. Amen. Your business will blossom again. Amen. Your life will blossom again. Amen. Marriages will blossom again. Amen. Do you understand? Finance is going to blossom again. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus, everything is going to blossom. Amen. It will come to that place. You understand? If he has never blossomed, you have never seen uh, your life being blossomed. Do you know what blossom is? Like a flower that have withered, uh, no, uh, no strength and no, no beauty in it. You understand? And it's so dry and so distant. And then God said, you say, let me tell you. When he said that to me, I was standing right here. And I was preaching. And he whispered to me. He said, ah. Like, ah. Ah. It's like, ah, it will blossom again. It's like, don't even watch. It's going to blossom again. You see, it's not what we see. What our eyes do not see. Whatever we see is temporary. And whatever that rises against us is temporary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But our life will blossom. Everything, let me tell you, ministry will blossom. Church will blossom. Business will blossom. Finances will blossom. Home will blossom. Everything. As a matter of fact, when it's blossom, we are, we are going to the next level. We are moving to the next level. It will blossom again. When he said to me, he said, ah, it will blossom again. Praise the Lord. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, he said, it will blossom again. Let me tell you, say everything, Mokoroma, see Amanda, because I'm making everything, I'm making everything new. Amen. That you will live to see, you understand, Ma Koroma, see Andara. You will thank me, Ah Koromo say. That certain things that the way it used to be, it's the way it, it's like it used to be, that it shouldn't be that way. E Koroma, sa. That certain things that if you let, you have to let it go, let it go. Yes, the flower is so weeded and so much. You put water on it. Nothing seems that is going to come up and nothing. And it's like, whatever. <laughs> you see, God wants us to get to the place that we say, whatever. Whatever. You understand? Your life, your relationship, whatever. Where there is no hope inside that you think there is no hope. But you see, I should tell you, it will blossom again. It will blossom again. Amen. Holy are you, Lord. Amen. All creation, holy. Yesterday, when I read, we read this Revelation 5. Ma, Kia, Mandara. You understand that no one, there was no one. They were looking for someone that can open the sea. There was nobody to open. The Bible said the heaven was so quiet. And then one of the elders stood up and screamed, said, don't cry. Don't cry, the lamb of the tribe of Judah. Akaramusi. That was slain, that has found worthy. He's worthy to open the seal. 
hey, our life is in the hand of this man, this lamb of the tribe of Judah. Our soul and our spirit is intertwined with his spirit. Makara. Who can separate us from this love of God? Who can pull us apart? Nothing. Is it when we have things that are beautiful before we can say? <laughs> Job said that won't I accept the good thing that he gave me? And won't I also accept the bad thing? I accept it all. You see, he take us through the challenge and to see what we're going to say about my life will blossom again. I want somebody to do, you know, you see, the way I'm feeling, the way I'm sensing and descend, the way the Holy Ghost, Makia Mandara, that is on me right now. It's like, ah, my life. You see, you know, when you know who your father is, you are, just do it with your neck. <laughs> my life will blossom again. He said, my church will blossom again. The minute the body of Christ will blossom again. The body of Christ, I'm talking about body of Christ, the churches that truly God's spirit is ruling, but the enemy thinking that he, because of corona, he got it. But let me tell you, devil is the liar. Church will blossom again. Ah, God is not a man that you should love. When he says something, he means it. Praise the Lord. When he says something, God mean it. Yeah. Your children's life will blossom. Oh, say my children's life will blossom. They will blo my children's life will blossom. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Hey, Jesus, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. My business will blossom. My finances will blossom. You see, he will do it that nobody got to take the glory. He will bless me beyond measure. He has already blessed me. I am still here. You are still here. We are alive. We are not dead. Hey, Makoro Master, we are not confined on the bed in on the hospital bed. We went on the bed and he, he brought us out. Our life, Mokoro Master, he had the final say our life is in the hands of this lamb. Hey, the Holy Lamb, the one that was found. Let me tell you, he was fire, Koro Master. He was too holy and too pure. Oh, nothing. They could not find anything in him. Let me tell you, he's on our side. He's standing behind me. He's on my right and left. He's standing side by side with me. He said, I am walking with you, my Koro Master. I am with you. I'm holding your hand till the end. I will never leave you, neither forsake you. I have been with you till the day that you were born. When you don't even trust yourself, I trusted you. Hey, Koro Master, Kaya, you will blossom again. I'm elevating you, promoting you. Eyes cannot see. Many don't understand who you are. I have made it so because I don't want them to understand. I want them to know the work at the end that the work will speak for itself. God is with you, Amar Kori Yakatala. Hey, Koro, stop putting yourself down. Stop touching yourself down, looking down on yourself uh, because uh, your life will blossom again. A Koromasa says, For a moment I took my eyes from you. It is for a moment, Koriakata. God is doing a new thing. Uh, he doing some things, oh God, and he will shake the world. Uh, he will shake this world that we are living in. Something new and something greater is about to happen to you and I. I am telling you, it's like a flower that has wither. Oh, it will blossom again. It will blossom again. Nigeria will blossom. Nigeria will rise. Nigeria will come back to his feet. Nigeria will stand on his feet. It will blossom again. Oh, Africa. Africa will come. Africa will be the surface of the earth. Africa, oh God, I must say, equally the Chinese and the China, they will know that indeed there is a land that called Africa. Africa, Mokoromasa. Africa will blossom again. It will blossom again. Africa will blossom again. It will blossom again. Your husband will blossom again. Your marriage will blossom again. It will blossom again. Somebody tell your neighbor, I will take your hand and stand on your feet and do like I will blossom again. I will blossom again in the name of Jesus. Say it, I will blossom again. Say, I will rise and blossom again. 
Oh, he said the lime, the lime of the tribe of Judah. Oh, Makori Yakata, he died, but he blossomed again. He blossomed by coming out of the grave. He rose again. He came out of the grave. Oh, you are not doing anything to me. I will blossom again. Whatever place that you think you have kept me, I will blossom. I'm coming out and I'm out of that place. And I will blossom again. My life is in the hands of the maker. Oh, hey, hey. Our life is in the hands of our maker. We will blossom again. We are not down. We are not being forgotten. I have not been forgotten. God has no echo master. So I will blossom again. I want you to do with attitude with your hands. Uh, with your two hands, I will blossom again. Say, it doesn't matter what you, have, you think you are doing to me. But I will blossom again. I'm coming out. I am out. Uh, I am no longer hidden. Uh, whatever place they kept me and they buried me in the realm of the spirit. Uh, I am out of that place. Uh, and I'm blossoming. Uh, I am blossoming. Say, my marriage will blossom again. My husband will love me. Uh, he will love me in a way that I have never been loved. Hey, it is heaven on earth. Heaven on earth, I will blossom again. That devil is a liar. Hey, they cannot understand me. Say so they cannot understand me. You may not understand me. And you have you will not understand me. Because God have made it so. God have made it so. God have made it so. Say so. so I will blossom. Say so I am blossoming. I am blossoming. So I don't need multitude. I don't need multitude. Just like the book of Judges. Uh, God is doing something. Uh, he's doing something. Uh, and he has cornered me. He has put me at the corner. And he wants uh, the many to look at it. And see how you're going to come out. But let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you. God is on my side. He's right there with me. I am coming out. And I am out. Uh, and I will blossom. And I'm blossoming. In, in the name of Jesus. It will blossom again. It will rise and blossom. It will rise. Nobody have kept it anywhere. Nobody have kept you anywhere. Nobody have kept the body of Christ anywhere. It's in the hands of God. God is holding it and it will blossom. You cannot stop anything. Nobody can stop anything. No one has the power to stop anything. All the power belongs to God. Nobody have the even the power or even have the courage. They know they can try, but they can never win. Because we have already been declared winners. We have already been declared winners. Our life is moving on. Your life is not stopped. That devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. Satan is a liar. He missed this one. He missed it. Our life is in the hands of God. So we will blossom and I'm going to blossom. Nobody has stopped me. You can't stop me because it has not been given to you. The power has not been handed to you. You don't have the power and you don't have the revelation, neither the knowledge to do anything. You are you know all from the beginning and ever since that, that you know that you can't do anything. You can't even touch her. You try her to destroy. You try her to destroy it. But you couldn't destroy it because you have realized that God is in the base. God is in control. He's the one that ruling. He's the one that determined in the name of Jesus. Your life is in the hands of God. Ekoromasa. It has been given to you and I. It has been said it has been given to me. It has been given to me. To win. To win. I have already been declared a winner. Because the Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my side. I want you to look back from the time you were born, childhood up to now. Don't you see that there's something special about you? You and I have messed up so many times. We shouldn't be here, but we're still here. Many don't understand it. They cannot believe or need a phantom of what is going on. They cannot understand why this way and why that way. Hey, that is why he said, you put it this way, I'll put it. I will take it from there and put it where it belongs. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you know that you are the trophy of God? Say, I'm the trophy of God. So God will not allow anyone to mess with his trophy. 
because I'm the trophy. Because I am the trophy. God has done a great job. He has worked on me. There's so many times I messed up. I fornicated. I stopped fornicating. I did all kinds of stuff. I gossip. I stopped gossiping. I hate her. I stopped hating. Everything that was wrong. I did all that. And I realized it, that it's not good for me. And I have stopped it. So I have become a his trophy. And the devil is mad. He thought that he got me forever. But he realized it, that he lost me in the name of Jesus. No, you are moving forward. Hey, you are moving forward. Say, I'm moving forward. Say, the devil is a liar. Say, I am here. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm not moving an inch. I'm not going anywhere. I am right here. I am right where God needs me and wants me to be in life. Uh, whether it's down, whether it's low, whether it's dry, whatever that it is. God is in control. God is in the mesa. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Because we are not moved by the terror by night, neither the arrows that fly at a new day. A thousand fall our side, ten thousand right hand side. That you saw the other day, hey, you do like this. Yes, Lord, that because you met the Omita, you understand? God is the greatest. Yes, you say, hey, I salute you. Yes, I salute you. Hey, we are going somewhere. <laughs> Some chains have been broken. <laughs> Some chains have been broken. Hey, Koromasa, Yanaramasa. Oh, very soon, eyes will see. <laughs> Hey, <coughs> eyes will see <laughs> very soon. Eyes will see. Oh, eyes will see. <laughs> eyes will see. And there is nothing they can do about it. Not the demons in your mother's family. Not the demons in your father's family. Not the one or father, whether workplace or church or whosoever. Nobody sitting anywhere, whatever they do, it go nowhere because uh, God, hey, Koroma, sir, they cannot do anything. They know they cannot touch it. They know that with this one, we can't touch. Hey, Koroma, sir. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, who are we that he's so mindful of? That devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. Oh, I said my marriage will blossom. Whatever they kept my marriage, God is taking it from there. He has taken it from there and put it where he belongs in the name of Jesus. He said, You don't have the finance. You realize you don't have the finance. The devil realized he doesn't have the finance. Oh, Jesus. So, you devil. <laughs> If you have known, you have killed me when I was young. But now that I belong to Jesus, I'm gone forever. Oh, I am gone. I am in the hands of God. He controls my life. He leads me. And I follow in the name of Jesus. Hey, Koromasa. Hey! We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. You can do so many things against Mokoro Masa. He can do so many things. The devil can do so many things against his people. <laughs> but none of them will come to pass. None of them will come through. He will try. But he will never win the war. Because the Lord, he's the one that fight our battle. The Lord fight up our battle. Oh, Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, the Spirit of the Living God. Makaya Naramose. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. That devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The enemy will whisper, and it will be, it will whisper so many things into your ear. You need to declare it, speak it loud, and tell the devil you are a liar. He's a liar. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated. Let's be seated. Second Samuel chapter 15 and verse. Let's start from verse 9. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to 9. 
2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 9. And the king said to him, Go in peace. So he arose and went to Hebron. Then Absalom sent spies throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, As soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then you shall say, Absalom reigns in Hebron. 11. And with Absalom went 200 men, invited from Jerusalem, and they went along innocently and did not know anything. Then Absalom sent for Ahithophel, the Gilonite, David's counselor from his city, from Gilo, while he offered sacrifices, and the conspiracy grew strong, for the people with Absalom continually increased in number. 13. Now a messenger came to David, saying, The hearts of the men of Israel are with Absalom. So David said to all his servants who were with him at Jerusalem, Arise, and let us flee, or we shall not escape from Absalom. Make haste to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly and bring disaster upon us, and strike the city with the edge of the sword. 15. And the king's servant said to the king, We are your servants, ready to do whatever my lord the king commands. Then the king went out with all his household after him. But the king left ten women, concubines, to keep the house. 17. And the king went out with all the people after him and stopped at the outskirts. Then all his servants passed before him, and all the Cherethites, all the Pelethites, and all the Gittites, 600 men who had followed him from Gath passed before the king. Amen. Let's jump to 27. That will go to 17. I just want us to. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Say so it will blossom again. It will blossom again. Everything. Everything. Will be okay. Will be okay. Everything is okay. Everything so is okay. In God's eyes, already okay. But with our, our eyes, we see it not okay. Because why? Things are not where it's supposed to. And things are not, you understand? But it will blossom again. It will blossom again. It will, blossom again. It will come together. It will be at peace. It will be perfect. It will be beautiful. It will be amazing. You see, it will be something that people will be like a legacy. You'll be known for that. You'll be known for battle. You'll be known for waiting. You'll be known for patience. You'll be known for forgiving. You'll be known for that. If that doesn't take place, you will not know. When the Lord spoke the word, it will blossom again. So don't look at what you are seeing. Don't let what you are seeing make you know. Keep your focus because everything will blossom again. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My people that know my name, those that have been called that know my name, they will experience my abundance. They will see my glory. Amen. If it has been any altar of a word that they have spoken that was not right, they will, it's like they will apologize because they focus on what was not there to speak from it. But if you focus what your eyes can see beyond whatever that it is right now, You'll be able to praise God from that, but not what you see. Because this year, it may look real or reality to physical. Physical, this thing, but spiritually or to God's eyes, this is not the reality. Because our reality is not God's reality. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He will do it again. He healed the blind eyes. And he walked on the sea. He will do it again. He could almost say, there was a famine and he caused, he caused within, like within a day, he caused plenty harvest. Do you understand? Three years of farming and all of a sudden, there is what? Grain for them to feed. He, he's taking our mind back into the scripture, things he has done. He could almost say, for us to know that he is with us. He is with the body of Christ. He is with his church. Amen. Nobody determined. He decided and he determined who should be where and who should be where and who should be where. It is no man's doing. He decided. 
When he decides to feel, he feel. When he decides, sometimes he let us go through the dry distance for us to see if we're still going to stick with him. If we're still going to be with him. Are you going to be with me when you have the plenty? Are you going to be with me when you don't have anybody? I want to see if you love me for me, for who I am, or you love me for the pl plenty, for what your eyes see, for what you've been deserted for when you were alone. Do you love me in your, in your alone moment? Makaramasa. Do you love me when people trust you? Do you love me? <laughs> We shouldn't be with God. I'm taking you somewhere. We shouldn't be with God because of what we can get. We can see here, David was a man after God's own heart. It was God that chose him as a king. He did not choose himself. You see, when you choose yourself or you put yourself in a position, you can go down. But if God puts you there, no matter what, he will, because, his, because his hand, this is what I'm you are a human being. And then his hand is underneath and he's lifted, he has lifted you up light. You don't see by his hand. He will never let you fall or go down. He's holding unless you pull yourself away and say that you don't want to be there. But he's holding us. Nothing can break and nothing. In the eyes of people, you see, he looks as if that it has broken. David was that man. His own son. The most difficult. How painful it is for your own loins. Your own child rises against you. It's like people that are close to you. I have learned a lesson years ago. You see, people that are close to you, whatever they say about you, to anyone, everybody will believe it. People will not take time to say, let me find out the truth. They will believe it. So Absalom was able to touch that place of the father and got the whole Israel against his father just because why he wants the throne that was not given to him by God God did not give the throne to Absalom you see God will sit back and watch you the fact everybody follow people does not mean that that is the will of God no no the fact that people are you know Living, living does not mean because people are living, living does mean that that is God. No. People left David. The whole Israel followed, followed Absalom because he stand at the gate. And when he stand there and everybody that bringing his issue, counseling or coming to counseling, he said, if I'm the one sitting on the throne that judging or doing counseling, I will counsel it this way and that way. And that way, and that way. You know how people also, they want you to follow them. People want you to tell them what will make them happy. They don't want the counsel of God. Because nobody wants to be rebuked. Because you get rebuked, I'm mad. I'm done. I'm not coming back. No, I'm following Absalom. So everybody followed Absalom. So what happened? They drove David, a whole king. David that killed people. God has raised him up to fight battle. Everybody and their assignment. On Wednesday, Bible studies. The everybody is what the grace that on that person that operates. Some people have the grace to sing. Some people have the grace to, 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 uh, to pray. Some people, what is your grace? That grace is the gift that God has given you. David, have the grace of battle. You cannot. But here we are. He finds himself in that place. Tell your neighbor, it will blossom again. They drove him out of his palace, his own son. God, the whole Israel, including his own advisor. They drove him. Ahitophel that give the best advice to David. You see, Ahitophel is also known as an advisor that have the grace from God to advise. Every king have an advisor. A president, you have to have an advisor. A pastor, you have to have an advisor. But at the same time, the advisors are picked by God. Hello? David that is known now have run away. 
and he has become like nothing. Every eyes of the Israelites are following Absalom. The one that was reigning is no longer reign. <laughs> There's a time in our life that you rise like this and God allow you to go through the down moment. That is why earlier on he said, I want to see if you still love me. Are you following me because of what? Because of money I give you? There's a time he will close the windows like this. <laughs> There's a time he will close it. There's a time that your, the money cannot even pay the bills. But he still wants to see if you're going to be faithful. <laughs> There's a time that you want to pay the bills, but you can't pay the bills. He wants to see the young lady. He wants to sleep around to pay your bills. Or you still want to hold on to God. David was driven out of his palace by his own son. You see, the most painful thing that his own son, the most painful thing that is Judas, the person that walked with Jesus that betrayed him. Don't expect people from outside to betray you. Don't expect people from outside to rise against you. It is people that eat with you, walk with you, that have known things about you. They are the one. The insiders. Praise the Lord. His own son. Let's go to 17. No, let's go to 16. We don't have enough time. Praise the Lord. Second Samuel 16 and 1. When David was a little past the top of the mountain. Because he had he have been driven out of the palace. The palace that had been built for him. They built the palace for him. And they thrown him king. They sat him on the throne to be a king. Now he has been driven. Now Absalom is the one that have taken. And people that was with David, that he was reigning, that they were around him, are the same people. <laughs> you know how human beings we are like this. Human beings are like this. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Then all of a sudden, you understand? The same people left to follow Absalom. People can speak to you or can talk to you. I love you with their teeth, but deep down in their heart. Let me tell you, love is patient and love is kind. Love is long-suffering. Love, do not keep account of wrong. Love is easily forgiving. Genuine love. It's easy to forgive. Makara Master. Love will tell you what you did to me right there. It's not keeping it in my heart. And then keeping it in my heart and give you attitude. That is not love. They left David to follow Absalom. Praise the Lord. Love doesn't take offense like that. You get offended every little thing. You wear your, your emotion on your that's why I say they wear it on their sleeve. Whatever that it is. Praise the Lord. So read. When David was a little past the top of the mountain, there was Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, mm -hmm. who met him with a couple of saddled donkeys, and on them 200 loaves of bread, 100 clusters of raisins, 100 summer fruits, and a skin of wine. And the king said to Ziba, what do you mean to do with these? So Ziba said, The donkeys are for the king's household to ride on, the bread and the summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine for those who are faint in the wilderness to drink. Amen. This man here was a cripple. He was a, come from the household of, of the Saul. Saul that died. You understand? But that's not what we're going to talk about. But David... Now, these people here got all this thing to give it to David because they've been driven out of their house, going, some, you know, going to the mountain to hide themselves onto things, whatever that it is, because Absalom have taken over. Praise the Lord. Go, jump to this thing. Jump to 9. No, jump to, let's read 6. If you jump to six, we won't see it. So let's start from five. Now, when can David... Uh -huh. Second Samuel 16, verse five. 
Now when King David came to Bahurim, there was a man from the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shimei, the son of Gera, coming from there. He came out cursing continuously as he came. And he threw stones at David. Do you see that? Why King David were going like this? They were also coming this way. And he's a whole king. It's like a whole president. A time that you, you are low. There's a time that your life is so low. That things go low. See, it's, a, it's like it's a way God testing our love and our faith and everything. Praise the Lord. It it doesn't it's not difficult for God to see you so low that God cannot pick you up and then put you like this it's not difficult that you are sick you are dead and look as you've been praying praying and God is not hearing or listening you understand it's not difficult for him to do none of these things or to do that God is more than able than when you are down He's the one, he can put you down and pick you up again. He can let the enemy put you down and pick you up. D David was going and this man was cursing David. Because now, his son now have rose against him, drove him out of the palace. So, look at you. <laughs> look at you. The whole king. It's because you've been killing people. So, he'll take the stone and throw at David and laugh at him and say all kinds of stuff. The David man rose up want to go and fight because david men are known for battles they have god has graced them you see when they come to battle fight david know how to fight he have trained his men to fight so you dare not to cross them so they rose to fight these people and david said no leave them ah it's god that have permitted him you see god has permitted him to curse me if God have not permitted him, where would he pass to curse me? Praise the Lord. But you see, this thing is very dangerous. A child of God, and when you go down, or you're going through things, and whoever talk about you and laugh about you, it is very dangerous. Be very careful. Because the same God up there, you see, when God begin to lift that person up, you that person that was causing the person pain or talking about them or gossiping or whatsoever laughing about them because they are down let me tell you you god will make sure that you will go back to that person and apologize for his ears are everywhere that is why it's important when you see people going through if you don't know why you keep your mouth word shut if you see somebody, oh, you are 40, you're still there, you're not married. Shut your mouth. You think getting married is because you are beautiful? It's the grace of God. Amen. Having children is because your husband knows how to do whatever. It's the grace of God. Everybody went the time. Praise the Lord. So this man was cursing the king. And David, you see, David had the fear of God. David is not those, you know, that is why God said he's a man after my heart. You see, when David sinned against God and God sent a prophet to tell him, it's not those people that will give you all kinds of, meanwhile you are seeing the thing like this, but they will tell you it is, that's not what it is. David will say, hey, I surrender. Who am I? Apart from that, David is also himself, he hear God. But he also know how to put things the, where it, he, it belongs. So when they were cursing him like that, he told them, no. He said, look at this blood, blood testy man. That because of your, your killing and because of all that, hey, a man is down. Don't ever see any, any pastor, bishop, whatever, you see them down and think you're laughing at that. You don't know why they are in that situation. What you can do is to pray for them. When you see any marriage going through this thing and then going through and you are hearing, don't put your mouth on any marriage. What you can do is to pray for them. Tell God to remember the family and lift them up. Because let me tell you something I have learned. When you laugh at anyone, whatever you laugh at, then you will taste of it. You're going to find yourself tasting but the same thing that you're talking about or laughing about or whatsoever. 
The only thing you can do to help them is to pray for them. Laugh at this man. Laugh at him so much. Laugh at David. And they pass. Let's jump to this thing. The 10. First Samuel 16, verse 10. But the king said, What have I to do with you, you sons of Zuriah? So let him curse, because the Lord has said to him, Curse David. You hear that? If, if it is permitted by God for someone to do anything, there's nothing you can do. You just have to sit back and just, just say, How can he curse me? It's because God has permitted him to curse me. It's because God have allowed this. God have allowed you to be down at this moment. God have allowed you to go through whatsoever you are going through. Not because God hates you. Not because you have the power over me. You have no power if the power was not given to you from above. Jesus said the same thing. Nobody has power over you. Let me tell you, God loves you so much that many people don't know how God loved them. God has you in his hand who dare to snatch you out of the hands of God. Satan cannot kill you. He cannot destroy you. Unless it has been permitted. But let me tell you, you will blossom again. Man, you are about to blossom and your enemies are just going to... Let me tell you, they will have won to be with you. <laughs> you have no idea. You see, when you see that somebody have a grace on them, even when they are down, be down with them. Because they're not going to be down forever. Tell your neighbor, God is with you. I want you to look at the person that you are sitting. Look there straight in the eyes. Say, God is with you. He said, God is with you. Do you know why you are going through what you are going through? Do you know why you are down? God is with you. God has been with you from the beginning. That whatever that started, whatever that began, God was aware and he's aware. He will never leave you and neither forsake you. He will not let anything to eat you up. Do you understand? If you know what happened to this man that cursed David, you have no idea. I am here to tell you that you will blossom again. You will blossom. Nobody has the power to stop or to a Koromasa. They cannot stop your destiny. Sickness cannot stop your destiny. Whatever you are going to cannot stop your destiny. Or oh, unemployment cannot stop your destiny. Marital problem cannot stop your destiny. Before the marriage came, you were here before marriage came. God created you before anybody came. So nothing, nobody can stop where you are going. Absalom could not stop David. He thought that he got the people on his side. By the end, what happened? Because it has not been given to him by God to sit, to sit on the throne. Ah, you will blossom again. You think that your life has been delayed. Oh, I don't see me go. I don't see myself moving forward. I don't see my calling coming out. I don't see I'm not doing anything. Who, who tell you? You can sit down and still God work on you. Let me tell you, all things work together. For years I was sat down for a long time. For a long time, for years. Then when the time of God came, he said, I want you to fast for these days. And that's it. You're sitting down alone. He's training you. Ah. <laughs> Yay, Jehovah. Let me tell you, something is about to happen. Oh, hi. Something is about to take place. Your life will take a turn. And you will see. You will see if God, let me tell you, you need to know and you need to, you need to know where God needs you to be. That's all. Where you need me to be. Right now you, are, you have allowed me to be down. That is where you need me to be and I will be down. I will not rush to come out of that place until I hear a word from you. My life will blossom again. You are in this. If you are watching me, your ministry, your ministry will blossom again. Your ministry, your church will blossom again. Nobody can stop anything. Nothing can stop nothing. Nothing can stop anything. It is God. He put it there. He put it here. 
one by one, he will see that like this, <laughs> like this, one by one, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Before you realize it, Hakara <laughs> Moses, they drove him out. And now the man that gave the best advice, you are with David, you turn against him. Let me tell you that some people, Hakara Moses, thank you, Holy Ghost. As some people, it's like, honey, we are walking together. Okay. Let's say we are walking together. The Lord, because we are working together, and the assignment that God has given, He will put certain grace on you. I used to have that grace. The moment He left David, He thought that He'll continue on to give that advice. His advice that was number one, everybody listened, and the king listened. Now that He left, the, His advice became foolishness. Because He betrayed whom the hand of God is upon. You cannot betray whom? The hand of God. I can't betray you. When I see the hand of God is upon you, either I key in. <laughs> Let me tell you, nobody is God. God alone that is God. Nobody determines anything. Nobody can kill you. No demon. They will try to choke. They will try. I want to scare you, but rise and shine. Rise and pray. And see that there is power and authority inside you. Because if you don't know who you are, that is where you sit back and let the enemy take what God, what belongs to him, take it and play with. What happened? Absalom thinking that he's ready. To a point that sleeping with the women of his father. What happened? They left. They're trying to go and overtake David. They try to go and never take, but there's some people who sign on this thing. There are certain people that they are very loyal. That were given to David. They stick with him to the end. Whether rain or shine. That sometimes God will give you certain people. They will stick with you. You don't have to do anything. They know the assignment in your life. And they will stick. Ha. Huh. No matter what. They stick. That man sticky, so you go. Go to Absalom, go and see. And begin to hear the advice. <laughs> God will turn your enemy against themselves. As they put it together. <laughs> as long as it's not from God, God will put it as sender. They plot to fire you. What happened? They will fire themselves. They have to leave the company. If anybody trying to fire you, they will leave that company for you to be there. We serve a living God. Tell your neighbor you will blossom again. <coughs> Everything about you will blossom. Say, so it is a guarantee in the name of Jesus. Say, so I will blossom again. In the name of Jesus. And my life will blossom. The way my life ought to be, it will be exactly and nothing can stop it and nothing can destroy it. Now life will blossom again. So now the people now got it. They, 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 if you read the 17, the 16 here, you read the 17 and 18. We don't have time to read all that. If you go home, read 2 Samuel 15 to 18. You're going to get the story and see how David blossomed. He went down. His own son pulled him down. Turn against him. Make the whole Israel turn against him. His life was over. Don't have the throne. But because God hand was in the midst of everything. As they drove him. Absalom with his crew and the people went after his father. Your own son, your own child. Your child from your own loins that you conceived nine months. That your wife conceived nine months. Ah. Rises against you. If anybody will rise not your own. If anybody will betray you, not your own. If anybody will be disloyal, not your own. David faces all this. But do you know that he was never delayed, never perplexed, never. All he was thinking is his son. Because he knew that he was pleading that the, the men, the soldiers will spare his son that rose against him. I'm telling you, your life will blossom again. It doesn't matter whoever have rose against you, whoever, whatever they are singing, whatever they're singing out there against you. As long as it is not God, 
I remember when the corona started and we started screaming on YouTube. People were making comments. I said, hey, as long as any word doesn't come from me, you don't take it. What I tell you is what you take. If I say negative, it's what you take and then work on it. But let it go. Don't listen to it. It's just a distraction. It gave me courage. So don't listen to what anybody is saying. Don't. Keep on doing what you are doing. Focus. That is why you see me. I focus. I don't try to pay attention to what you are saying. People will say all kinds of stuff. People get angry for things you are not even thinking about. You have not even, pl- you have not even conceived it. Conceal it. They will say it that you have not. It is not even in your brain. And you are asking yourself about some people. Oh, they will say things. I say, God, but why, the, why are they thinking this way? If you focus on those things, you will go crazy. You hear it, you brush it off. And you keep focus. So as long as it did not come from me, I am not the one saying it. These are distractions to distract you for, from stopping you from doing what I have called you to do. Am I the one singing it? David kept his focus. And when the people went, when Absalom went to the bush with the soldiers and they went to, over, to overtake his, your own father. <laughs> you see, when something is not given to you, you can, yeah, let me tell you, you can fight, you can talk, you can be disloyal, you can talk to people, gang up against whosoever. Let me tell you, it will go nowhere. You will end up turning around. Later on, you'll be the one, be so humiliated and ashamed and embarrassed. And people and God himself will expose you from people to know who your truly nature is. Because you have risen against someone that the hand of God is upon or whatsoever. That is what Absalom did. What happened? The Bible said that the tree, while he was riding on his horse, you see the leaves when you are in the bush riding, the leaves cut his garment and he was hanging. But David pleaded with the man that when you catch the young man, when you, when you come to that young, because David knew the man, the man he's working with, because he, ha, David is known for war. There is no war that David will fail because God has anointed him for it. God have graced him. He have the grace. Don't play with someone. Check with people grace down upon their life. Isn't that what my son said on Wednesday? He said, when you, you know people, you will know them what they have. He said, one thing I have no mommy. Mommy have the grace of prayer. Yes. I will not talk to you like this. No way. I don't have time to battle west with you one and one. I'll lay my stomach on the fire. I'll mention your name. Write your name. Send it. Bring it to the throne room of God. God, you heard what this person said. You heard. I'll take my pain to God, not on you. I don't have the time to be doing this with you. I take it to God. I cry like a baby. I cry like a baby right there. Now I'll see him console me. When I rise, I come back from prayer. I feel good and I leave it alone. I will see you smile, love you genuinely from my heart because I know the battle is of the Lord. You can never win battles with people and neither can you change anyone if you're fighting with them. There's no way those people will change. The more they cost you pain, the more you cry before God and pray for them. Trust me. When God decide, David was crying for Absalom. The person has rose against you. The person wants to kill you. You know this person means evil, but yet, let me tell you, the ways of God are not our ways. You can never win any battle when you are paying them back of what they have done or what they are doing. Keep on praying for them. Present it, but let me tell you, they will never succeed over you. They will never. If they plan, they want to laugh at you, they will end up being in that place and then you will just pray for them. Anyone sit back and talk about you, negative spread, lies about you, they will always be ashamed before you. As long as it is not true. David, his son Absalom, did all these things. But what happened? 
the man was caught. And then the, he was caught by his, his garment like this. The robe that he was wearing and he was hanging. The horse left. And men, David men came. One of them saw. He passed. Because he heard David telling them, be merciful to the young man. But when his leader of the soldiers came, Abner came. No, he couldn't. Joab came, he couldn't. Immediately took three, three arrows and shot him. And shot him to his heart and killed him. And then began to sound the trumpet. The man that troubled Israel, everybody came and surrounded. David was down. But whoever rose, that was his son. If he left with him, he would not kill. But the people killed him. Now David marched back. Why they were going from the city? They left the city to chase after David. David too was coming to the city to sit on the throne without them knowing. Let me tell you, you will blossom again. Amen. You will blossom again. Your calling will not be stagnant. You might think that your calling is stagnant. Nothing is stagnant. David went down. Sometimes we have to go down for God to pick us out so that we can see the glory of God, the power of God, so that people will know who are with you. With you. You will blossom again. My life is not over. Say, say to yourself that my life is not over. My calling is not stagnant. My home is not deserted. It's not destroyed. It will blossom again. My finances, it will blossom again. Is it not God have been saying all this thing? Yeah, let me tell you, he's raising up millions, millionaires that your account will be so full. Every time he tells me that, he say, ah, just let your heart. It's like I'm in charge. And be content of where you are. It's like, haven't I done this and haven't I done that? Didn't you go through this situation for a long time? And after a long time, 10 years, didn't I bring it back? Didn't you go through this and this for years? <laughs> why some are years and why some are distant? It's because what you carry is heavy. Because what you, who you are is great. You wonder why things, nobody has the power. You are not down alone. You are not alone. You are down there because God is there with you. You are going through because God is with you. I remember one time I was facing some challenges. Akaramasa. He thought, I thought they would never finish. I went on a seven day fasting. And it was so severe. It was so severe, so severe. It's like life and death. And after the seventh day, the Lord spoke. I've been praying the whole week. And I was like, I was so helpless. So helpless. And I cried, I cried, I cried. I have not slept for seven days. But the seven day, seven day, he spoke to the person to tell me, tell her that I am in control. From the beginning, I have been in control. That I am in charge of the situation. It was just, I am in charge of the situation. I went through a lot. And then after the seven days, the Lord descended and everything just, whew, as if that, it did nothing happened. So I was wondering, not knowing God was teaching my hands to war. It was a deliverance I was going through, doing one a, a person. I, I couldn't see a way out. I have prayed. I have done all that I need to do. The person go blind. The person go deaf. The person go dead, go mad, go die. I said, God, what I need to do? But God was not speaking. But the seventh day, he said, wasn't I there for you? So I was showing you that there will be a time when you are doing deliverance. The enemy can cause the person to be blind. The enemy can cause the person to be deaf. The enemy can cause the person to do that. The enemy can cause the person. So I have to give you the training for you to understand. But when it comes to that place, you just continue to be still. All I could do is to cry and just worship, cry and just worship, cry and just worship. I say, God, whatever I know to do, I have done it. Tell your neighbor, you blossom again. You will blossom again. Tell your neighbor that your life is in the hands of God. You will not die. Tell your neighbor that I don't know about but I have seen worse and I've seen God come through for me. 
it looks as if that it is over. But not knowing that God has been there all this time. All this while God was there. God was there. It will blossom again. Master, you will leave your house and live with your husband. You will move out of your home that you purchased and then now move in with your husband. I'm telling you that it will blossom again. You have another baby. And then you're going to tell many that Makaya Naramose. Makara Masa. It will blossom again. The devil is a liar. Everything that we have destined to do, you and I are going to finish, you're going to complete it. Nobody can stop it. Whatever battle upon every works of our hands that the enemy is fighting to slow it down. It, it is not, they cannot slow it down. They think and they thought that they are slowing it down, but they don't know that God is preparing something. Something is coming out of it because you do it, it will blossom again. Because we we'll get a testimony and to share and to plead and to praise God because of what you and I have been through. I was standing here three weeks and God said, it will blossom again, my daughter. Don't worry, it will blossom again. My eyes are upon you. God's eyes are on you. It will blossom again. Ekoromasa. Just lift up your hands and just thank him that it will blossom again. That your life will blossom again. I don't know which area of your life, if, if it is ministry, call him. Those that are watching, if it is whatever that it is, your life will blossom again. The court case and the police case, you that are watching in Europe, your everything will blossom again. That court case and everything, it will be foolish case. Karamose, those that want to drive you, I want to take you out of the home and whatsoever, I want to take you Take the home from you. Let me tell you, it will blossom again. You will not lose the home as a if that you are losing coming out of the home. If you lose that home, that means God is going to give you a better place to stay. Better than this one and your job. Uh, it's like something has come and attached. But I'm telling you that it will blossom again. Everything will blossom again. Lift up your hand and begin to thank him. Continue to thank him. Just bless him uh, in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. Something is going on. Mazi andori akata, ekori ano yeke teki akata, esiki amandara. Whatever that going on, whatever battle is ending, moziki andori akata, ekoro moziki endere, shaki endere. Look at how David life came back. He was driven out of his house by his own son, and the whole Israel followed him. He looked as if that there is no way that he can come back. People were laughing at him. People were gossiping about him. People deserted him uh, people left him uh, but God was with him God has been there all this while God is with you uh, it doesn't matter who have deserted you it doesn't matter who is deserting you it doesn't matter who have divorced you it doesn't matter that witchcraft manipulation uh, over your life will not prevail will not uh, it will not take place. It will not happen. The way they have orchestrated it. The way they have made it. Uh, it will not be the way that they thought that it should be. That devil is a liar. If you have been deserted. Uh, if you have been betrayed. Uh, whatever that it is. Uh, let me tell you. It is all working for your good. In the name of Jesus. It will be sickness. Uh, it doesn't matter who have left your camp. It doesn't matter who have left your camp. Moziki the Bible says that if they were if we were given to you, if they were given to you, they would never have left. Uh, if anyone leave because they were not, they have not given them to you. Uh, in the name of Jesus, if they belong to you, uh, they will never have left. Moziakata, uh, anyone that belongs to you, Mokuriakata, they will never, they will never, they will not leave. Mokuriaka, just as they did with David. In Masiki Amandara, Koriandoriamakatara Mose, you belong to the job uh, if you belong to the company they will never have fired you maria kata mozie mandoro mokoto makuri anuo jeki anamasa e koromasa ki amandara mose indori aki amandara masa jeki amandari anuo kuria kata eki andori arakata whoever the fighting against you what is fighting uh, what is fighting you uh, moriaka god is greater than whatever the fighting you in the name of jesus uh, Makuri 
kuriendolo, ma kuriendolo, ma kuriendolo, ma ziendolo, ye kuriendolo, ma kurie kete, ma ndolo masa, e kurianu ye kete masa kata. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, my brother, ma kara mose, ma ye kurina katara mose. Father, in the name of Jesus, Papa and my belongs to you. Lord, we thank you for the grace that will carry. I thank you for the grace that your people carry. I thank you for the grace upon your people, uh, the souls of God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the grace that carry, the grace that the churches carry, the grace that churches that you have called. Uh, Father, carry your God. Nothing can shut them down. Nothing can close them down. Those churches that belong to you, but the body of Christ will not be the same in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, ye koriana mo ziki andoriana mo koro. Eh, masi amandara mo si ye kete. Ma ye kuriakata, ma ye kuriakata, ma ye kuriakata. Mo ziakata riyanu mo ye. Ma kuriyendoro mo si ye. Mandoro mo koriana masa. Eh, ma ye kotoro, ma ye kotoro. But every demonic attack upon our life uh, is being broken, O oh God. But I will break every demonic attack, uh, every demonic attack, uh, Father, through people. Maria nuo ye koria nuo zie indoria nuo koto ye ki andoro mose maye doria nuo ye kete Father God we are not losing anything that belongs to us He said we have not lost what belongs to us what have been entrusted in our hand in the mighty name of Jesus which come on inflation Father has been broken a mazikuri endoria na masa e koria nuo ye kete masie mandoro koto mandoro koto masie koria nuo ye Maye kuriyanu ye kuriyanu ye indoria katara mose e kuriyana kata mo kuriyana mo zeke teriyana kotoriyana kotoriyana e mandariyana kotoriyanu zeke te zekeyanu zeke ti elwo lwo ye mandori elwo lwo ye ma kuri elwo lwo lwo muzi elwo lwo e kuri elwo lwo zukuri enderi elwo ziye ye koro mosiye ye koro mosiye Father in the name of Jesus andoriyana kata. Andoriana, Makaria, Dariana, Ecoria, Dariana, Masiki, Andara, Indoria, Dariana, Coria, Dariana, Ecoria, Dariana, Masiki, Andara, Yerian, Wokuria, Doriane, Maya Puria, Keterian, Waje, Ecoro, Mama, 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 Siki, Amandala, Father, we thank you. I thank you, O God, Mazia Kete, thank you for planting our, oh, Ziki, and the day, planting our feet on a solid ground. Thank you for planting me, O God, planting, O God. That we have been planted by the waters. Uh, we have been planted, oh God. I have been planted by the waters, oh God. That will not wither. That each season, oh God, I bear the fruit. Uh, I bear my fruit, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I am blossoming. Uh, I am blossoming to my own. Uh, I am blossoming. Mukuri uh, andara. The souls are blossoming. The people are blossoming. In Doriakata, wherever that they are, wherever they may be. My Ekuri and Doriana, Ekuri and Wazukuri. Father, we thank you, O oh God, that Nigeria will not be the same. Nigeria will not be the same. Lord, I thank you for corruption in Nigeria. My Lord and my God, you said the season of come. is coming to an end. The season of come. corruption in Nigeria, corruption in Africa. Father, is coming to our end. It's coming to an end. Maria Nuokoto, they will blossom again. Africa will blossom again. Kenya will blossom again. Maria Ndoria Kata, the massacre, O oh God, is coming to an end. It has come to an end, O God. Mazi andori anuye, mokuri akata. The war that the enemy wanted to bring to Africa, the war that they want to bring to Africa, Father, will push every war back. We push every war back to where it's coming from, where it's coming from, O God. For you say we'll blossom again in the name of Jesus. Mandori ana makata, mandori ana makata, maye kuturi ana makata, manzuri anuye. Father God, that you are ending the system, you are ending the old system uh, the old system in africa the old system in africa mandori anuoje africa uh, will not store do not steal their mirrors they will not take what belongs to the land uh, and take it elsewhere marie nwokoto they will not be manipulator they will not be turned around they will not give them a korea kata the resource on africa the resource in africa to another country to another land uh, 
Father, you are raising up, uh, you are raising up men, uh, you are raising a young men uh, in Africa leaders uh, to take over Africa, to take over our law. You are raising up, uh, you have raised up, oh God, uh, in Doriakata, those that know your name, Liberia, Muriakata, Riana, Liberia will not come to an end, Liberia will not end, oh God, Masia Kiandoro, Maria Nuoye, Maria Nuoye, Kuria Nuozukuria, Yekuria Nuoye, Masia Kete, Mandoro. Say, ah, my Lord and my God. He say, Africa, Africa will be a little Israel. Africa will be a little Israel. Africa land of God is coming to the surface. Africa land, man, that I must say, Makotian Woye, that I got a fraud, the fraud of God are going on. The fraud is coming to an end. The fraud has come to an end. All the fraud of God, you are raising and picking up the men, the young men, the African men, you are raising them up. You are ending. Ending the fraud, uh, you are ending the fraud of God. You are ending the fraud of God. You are passing laws in Africa. Father God, to end every fraud, uh, anyone that will do fraud, uh, my Lord and my God, our Africa will not be the same. Our Africa will not be the same. People will not leave Africa anymore. People will not leave Africa and travel out uh, because you are raising Africa. You are building Africa. Mandoriana Mose, Mandoriana Koreana Mose. Just as Africa was deserted, uh, as what that century ago, you are bringing Africa back. Uh, the time and season for desertion, uh, it has come to an end. Uh, it has come to an end. Uh, just like in the days uh, that the 70 years came to an end. Marianu Oye, Makurianu Oye, Indoriana Mokoto, Marianu Mokoto, my Lord and my God, Ekoriakata, the fraud, the fraud of Africa, Eriakata, the pastors, the fraud pastors. Father God, you are getting rid of them uh, out of the system. Uh, you are cleansing uh, the fraud pastors. Uh, you are cleansing uh, out of the system. Uh, you are removing uh, the fake pastors, uh, the fraud pastors. Andorian Mokoto, Marian Wokuria Kate, Mayandoriana Mose, Andorian Woye, Makurian Woye, Mundurian Woye, Makurian Woye, Azian Woye. People will not believe. Uh, they will not understand. How did Africa become? like this how did africa become great like this how did africa come to this place a uh, korea kata that even surpassed the western world even surpassed africa even surpassed america even surpasses that uh, he said just like china raise up uh, just china came to this place uh, the same way you will see africa rising again blossom uh, becoming greater uh, that will be proud uh, that we are blacks and africans uh, will be proud uh, to call ourselves africa I'm Doriana Kata, Ekoriana Kata, Indoriana Kata. It's a time will come. All the black Americans, all the black Africans, but all over in America, they will run to Africa. They will go back to their route. They will go back to their land. They will go back because they will realize that they are place in this place for them. Indoriana Massa, Ekoriana Mariana Massa. Watch Africa rising again. Watch Africa coming back to this feet. Watch Africa. Going on his feet and praying and crying to God. Marianu Oye, Makuriana Mose, Indorianu Oye Kete, Marianu Oye Kete. Tell your neighbor we are blossoming again. We are blossoming again. We are blossoming again. We are blossoming again. Africa will have their mineral. Africa will retain their mineral. Africa will retain their diamond. Africa will retain their oil. Africa will retain everything. Ekoriakata. Africa will be sustained. But the own thing, Africa was self sufficient. Ekoromasa, Mandoria Kata. Oh, we have blossoming again. I said, We have blossoming again. Our young men are blossoming again. Our young men are blossoming again. Our sons and daughters are rising up. Indoria Kia Mandara, Indoria Noye, Mokoria Namose, Mokoria Noria Namose, Yakia Noriana, Ekoria Noye, Ekoria Noye, Ekoria Noye, Ekoria Noye. Father, in the name of Jesus, the hatred in Africa, Father, the hatred in Africa, you are to raise 
hate of the hatred, uh, the hatred and the envyness uh, and the jealousy and the by biting. Ekoria nwo ye, mandoria nwo ye, ekoria kata eskae koro mama mama, enoro masa yendere mo sekete, ma ye koto, ma ye koto, ma zi ye koto, ma yendoria nwo ye, mo koria nwo ye, ma zi yandoro, ma koria yandoro. Lord, I thank you that we are the future of Africa. We are the future of Africa. We are the future of Africa. Mandaria nwo ye, Maria nwo ye, ma koria nwo ye, Maria nwo koria nwo ye, mandoria nwo kuturi endere, Maria kuturi endere, my Lord and my God, indori ekete, mazi ekete, Father God, is there the fake in the system? You are clearing, you are removing, you are moving the fake out of the system. Mandoria na, ma koria na, e koria kata. Hey Lord, we thank you. Say witchcraft, witchcraft will not rule Africa. Witchcraft will not rule Africa again. Witchcraft will not rule Africa. Witchcraft will not rule Africa. Indori ya nwo ye, ma koria na koria na koria na, ye ki indori ya na koria na, indori ya katari ya na koria na, e ki indori ya na koria na, e kori indori ene, ma ye kori endere, mo kori ekete, ma ye ndoro koto, ma siki ekete, indoro mose, indoro mose, ya kori endere mose, ma ndoro mo kori amara, e mandari ya kacha, e mandori ya na mandori ya na mandori ya na, indori ya na kori ya na, mo si indori ya na kori ya na, ye ki indori ya kacha, fada wa land o God, thank you o God for the land of Africa that will not be the same that you are changing the land of Africa. Andori ya nwo kuri e, mazi andori ya nwo ye, makuri andori ya nwo, kuri ya nwo ye, e kuri ya nwo ye. You are breaking us through. You are breaking it through. You are breaking us through. You are breaking Africa through. Andori ya kacha, andori ya kacha, andori ya kacha. Africa will not be doomed. 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 Africa is not doomed. Africa will not be doomed. Mandori ya ki endere. Every curse is a mandori ya kacha. We broken over Africa. Mandori ya nwo ye. Akuri ya nwo zukuri ye. Ma ye mandori ya nwo kuri ya mandori. Mandori ya na kuri ya na. All road to God. All road to God. Everybody of God. Father leading ahead. Heading towards Africa, Andoriana, 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 Makuriana, Moziana, Yekiana, Ekoriano, Ye. Oh, we will not be the same. The land of Africa will not be the same. I will not be the same. I will not be the same. In the name of Jesus, Andoriana, Ye, Makuriano, Ye, Koriano, Ye, Indoriana, Koriana, Emandara Massa, Emandara Massa, Emandara Massa, Emandara. Makari andara, emanara mosi andara, emanara masa, ekori andari ane, yeki andare, yeki andare, yeki andare, yeki andare. Oh, ma ekori anu yekete, mandori anu yekete, andori anu yekete. Father, Liberia will not be the same. Liberia will not be the same. Liberia will not be the same. In the name of Jesus, Africa as a whole will not be the same. Andori anu yes. E kuri ya nwo ye, e ndoro mo se, e ndoro mo se, e ndori ya nwo kuri ya ndoro, ye kuri ya nwo ye, ori ya nwo ye, kuri ya nwo ye, ori ya nwo kuri ya nwo ye, ndori ya nwo ye, kuri ya nwo ye, ndori ya nwo ye, ndori ya nwo ye, ndori ya nwo ye, mo kuri ya nwo ye, ndori ya nwo kuri ye, e kuri ya nwo ye, e kuri ya nwo ye, every division, and every division that going on in Africa, Africa. Will not be divided. The divination that going on, my Lord and my God. Every divination of God, but I be broken. Every divination of God. Hey, Masi Amadara. Hey, Papa Masa. But we thank you. Every land of Africa will be discover oil. Every land of Africa will discover oil. Every land of Africa will discover oil. Every land of Africa. Every corner of Africa will discover oil. Will discover minerals. Will discover diamonds. We discover Murian Wuye, Makurian Wuye, Murian Wuye, Makurian Deriat Wuye, Mozukurian Wuye, Mokurian Kate, Murian Wuye, 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 Murian Wu
ye amasaka ya nara mose indori aki ya nara indogo toro moye kete makuri ye kete mayendoro mayendoro mayekuri yendoro mayenuo ye ekori ya nuo ye you are breaking curses you are breaking curses over the land over Africa we break curses let every curses be broken over the continent of Africa every curses be broken every curses be broken curses over reward that be broken curses over reward that be broken curses over reward that be broken curses over Tanzania be broken curses over Africa East Africa be broken Andoria na makata Ekoria nwo ye Ekoria nwo ye Mandoria nwo ye curses over West Africa be broken curses over North Africa be broken Andoria na makata Ekoria nwo ye Ekoria nwo ye Indoria na makata Ekoria nwo ye Indoria nwo ye Ekoria 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 nwo ye
Makuriyan Waje, Mandorian Waje, Father, you say there's some remnant. There is a remnant of God. They're crying on the land, crying our Father God unto you. They are crying, O God, to remember the land. Mazi and Doriana, Makuri and Doriana, Yeki and Doriana, Father, for the petrol, O God, the petrol, O God, the gas, O God, the petrol. They have come, O God, to Africa, to the land of Africa, to Ghana, O God, every country, every land. Of God, every place of God, Mandori Yakata will be filled with oil, will be filled with oil, will be filled with gold and diamond. My Endori Yakata, who was once last, but we are first of God, who was once last, but we are first of God. You are increasing our resources, our resources of God. You have increased our resources. My Endori Yana, Makuri Endori Yana, Yeki Endori Yana, Endori Yana, Korea Endori Yana, Endori Yana. O Coriandara, Munduriana, Coriandariana, Massa, E Coriandariana, Coriandoriane, Yeki Andoria, E Coriacata, Father, you would be thrown and on throne of God, you would be thrown and then throne of God, you are the throne in many and then thrown many. I am Dorian Uye, Makurian Uye, he said, All the officers, all the officers are yours, Mamboriacata, Marian Uye, Father God, Muria Kete, the Landa, Makoria Doriana. Mokoria Mariana, the land of America, Makoria Kriandoria, this country of God, Marian Woyekete, of what you are doing, Indorian Woyekurian Woye, Indorian Wokuturia Kata, that things will not be the same, Andoriana Mosie, Andoriana Mosie, Andoriana Mosie, America, O God, to remember his first lover, America to remember their first lover, America to remember their first lover, Elian Woye, they have left their first lover. Andoria nuo yeki andoria, e koria nuo yekuri andoria, indoria nuo kuri andoria na, e koria andoria na, e zia kaya andoria na koto, andoria nuo ye, ma kuri andoria ye, e koto ye nuo ye, e kuri andoria nuo zikuri ye, ye kuri nuo ye kuri nuo, e kuri andoria nuo ziki ye kete, indoria nuo ye, indoria nuo ye, e kuri nuo ye, she kuri nuo ye, indoria ne kete, indoria ne kete, ye kuri ye kete, in the name. Of Jesus, Elian was a Elian was a Ecorian was a Indorian was a Macurian was a Ecorian Dariana, Mosia Cayandaria, Emanariana, Korean Daria, Ecorian Dariana, Maciandara, Inde Korean Dara, Ye Korean Dara, Ye Korean Dara, Inde Korean Dara, Ye Korean Dara, Ecorian Mose, Inde Korean Mose, My Ecorian Mose, Yeki and Korean. My Lord and my God, the chains be broken, the chains be broken, demonic chains be broken over the land of Africa, over the continent of Africa. The chains be broken, demonic chains be broken over the land of Africa, over the land of Ghana, the continent of Africa. The chains be broken over Liberia, demonic chains. My but the blood shed, the blood sharing, but the God who's the Andoriana, you are cleansing the land, you are cleansing the land, you are cleansing Africa, you are cleansing Ghana, you are cleansing the God, but the blood shed, you are cleansing, you are cleansing, you are cleansing the leadership, you are cleansing the leadership, you are cleansing, Elian Woye, that you are shutting, you are shutting churches down, some churches of God, every demonic church. You are shutting it down. You are closing it down. You are collapsing. Maria no yekete. Makuri andoriana. Koriana. Ezi andoriana. Koriana. Elia no ye. Nobody will fool you again. No one will fool you, O God. Nobody will stand on the altar and fool you. That is not of you. That one is not of you. Elia no yekete. Elia kata. You are taking your land. You are taking your land. You are taking your country. You are taking the land. You are taking the altar from the hands. Of the enemy, my end 
Mokuriana, Mokuriakata, then you to God, they will not be jobless, then you to not be jobless, then you to not be useless, and Dorian Moje, Makurian Doriana, Moziaka, and Doriana, Orian Doriakata, eh, Maya Dorian Moje, Dorian Wokurian Dorian, Dorian Wokurian Dele, Ekiara Maya, Indoro Mosie, Maya Doro Moko Toriakata, Morian Wojekete, Father God, the schools of God, the universities are. And Doriana Koto, the Havra Courtism, the Rampan over there, the initiating them. But I say you are ending it. You are ending it, O God. In Doriana, Mokoriana, Mokoriana, Mosiana, Jeki and Doriana Koto, Ye Korean Moje, Mokurian Dere, Korean Dere, Ye Korean Mosukuria, Maya Korean Doriak, Maya Korea Katerian Moje. Eh, Lord God will blossom again. Your country will blossom again. The land will blossom again. The family will blossom again. The marriages will blossom again. My Doriana, Mokorian Oje, Marian Oje Kete, Father God, any one of God that have let you go, have left you go, Father, you are bringing them, you are bringing them back home to your server. And Dorian Oje, Kurian Oje, those that have left you go, those that have deserted their first lover, which is you, O God, you are calling them. And Dorian Oje, Ekoroma Sakaya. Andara masa, e mandara makai andariana, e mandara masa kai andara, e kori andariana kori akatari ama, yeki andariana masa, e mai kotori akata, which got manipulationa, father has been brokena, has been broken oh God, which got manipulationa, has been brokena over your church, over the anuoje, over the members, over the souls, the manipulation of which got the lying tongue, the speaking to the yes, mandori anuoje. Makurianu ye kurianu ye ekoro mo sekete mayendoro mo ziandoro makuriendere masa ekorianu ye maye korianu zukuriye mandoriyanu ye kete maye kuriendere makuriendere koto maye koto maye koto maye koto maye koto shakuye koto mo ziye koto indoro koto in the mighty name of Jesus, in every area of our lives, oh God, in my Rosia Catayara Massa, in my Rama Roma Ecorosi, Minister Shablasa Magena, in the name of Ecoro Massa, Emandara Massa, Ecoro Massa, Indoro Massa, Yeki and Aramasa, Ecoro Mose, Shaki and Doro Mose, Indoro Massa Cata, Ecoro Mama 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 Masha Cayandara, E Siki Amandara, O Shekoria. Oh, it's blossoming again. It's working again. Ekoriakata is taking place. It's taking shape. It's coming together. Malianu yekete, Arianu yekete, Orianu yekete. The increase, the harvest, Arianu ye. The turning around. Lord, we thank you. Aki andoro, Andorianu ye. Mazi andoro, Mayekorianu ye. Moziki andu ye. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you for the turning around. Thank you for the changing, changing of names. Oh, Africa. Africa blossoming again. Africa standing on his feet. Africa. Father, in the name of Jesus. Africa. Andoro Mosiki. My Lord and my God, Andoria Katarian Oje, but I will thank you, O God. Africa blossoming again. My Lord and my God, the moving industry, the moving industry coming back together again, moving again, blossoming again. Aye Kurian Oje coming back on his feet, standing on his feet in the name of Jesus. It will be like a surprise, it will be like a daydreamer, it will shut them, O God. Andoria Oje, Makuri. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Begin to thank Him. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank Him. For Africa blossoming again. Thank you, O God, for Hollywood investing in Africa in the moving industry. 
the Hollywood invested in the movie industry in Africa, movie no Korea Kata, oh, investing in special in Ghana movie industry, Maria Kotoria Kata, for rising up and the Mosiki in the day, my Korea and the Yekete, and the Mosiki and the Mokoto, Yeki and the Mosie, Yeki and the Mosie, and the Yan Yekete, Makoria and the Yekete, Father in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, my Ekoto, thank you for total cleansing, for cleansing Africa, for cleansing the land of Africa, for cleansing Ghana, for cleansing Ghana, for cleansing Amuria Kuriekete, cleansing Nigeria, cleansing Liberia, cleansing Amuria Kuria Nuye, Mokuria Nuye, Kuye, Ezia Ketere. Hey, Father, we thank you. We bless you, O God, for cleansing East Africa, cleansing West Africa, hey, cleansing South Africa. My Endorianu Yekete, Oriye Kete, for lifting the head of Africa. Orianu Ye, Ekoria Kata, for putting the head on in the name of Jesus. A Lord and my God, the leadership of God of Africa changing. The leadership of Africa changing. The leadership of Africa changing. Father, we thank you for giving us a good leadership of God. Good leaders of God in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name. We praise your holy name. We thank you, O God, for the school, the school system in Africa. Oh, the system of the school, the school system. And our God, coming back again, being a good school, being a good system in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we bless you, Lord. Our things will not be the same because He's blossoming again. It will stand on His feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to tell your neighbor, shout that Africa. No, no, holy. Tonight was Africa. Agaramasa. Egoromasa. Many will run, they will run into Africa. A lot will go back home. A lot of black Americans will desert and leave this place and go to Africa. Africa is like the head was not on, but now it's like the head was put on. And a lot of oil, a lot of oil will be in the continent of Africa. Everywhere you pass, there is oil. Everywhere we pass, there is oil. Everywhere we pass, there is oil. And then diamond and gold, do you understand? It's not going to be like one place. It will be so much. And the Lord was showing that the way uh, China became China all of a sudden. This is how Africa, many, and then now the, black, the white will now run into Africa to learn and to get some knowledge, you understand? And then you see that, that, that when Jesus was born, he ran into Egypt and hid himself over there. The parents have to hide Jesus in Egypt, do you understand? He said, for that act, he has forever remember Africa. You understand? Egypt will not be the same. Egypt that is like a Muslim religion, watch and see the how a Christian will, like, will take over. The whole continent will just change. Africa will just wake up in the middle and I'm seeing leaders that, you understand, is the moving out. Leaders that are moving and fake pastors that are moving. Everything that is like the Lord say, it's my land, it's my country. So I'm taking my land back. And you see young folks, a youth, uh, will no longer killing themselves. Uh, they will not kill just for money and all that. Africa will be so blossomed and then a coro marks the, the country will be full of jobs and uh, they don't have to travel anywhere they'll be so proud of their country they'll be so proud proud of their land and they'll be able to say that I'm from Africa I'm talking about black in general a lot of people wherever they are they have scattered uh, they're going back home uh, and whatever the soul of their feet step uh, God say I God will give it to them uh, I God will make Africa so flourish uh, so envious uh, so envious that many will envy Africa and many now will come around and will come back more koro masa even a lot of people call up people come and say i'm black i'm black now that they are shining away but now they want to come back they will do everything to be black do you understand you say we should be, we should be thankful and grateful and be happy because of the melon that he put inside us uh, we are special we are not we should uh, koro masa he said we should stop even using cream to try to turn ourselves to be a different uh, try to bleach yourself to be a different color be proud of who you are be be proud of how I have made you. I'm seeking Amanda because Africa will come and be like a little Israel. Do you understand? It will blossom so much. My endoromo sick it's in. 
You say you run and you go to you go to the Arab country, go to the Dubai. Don't you know that I'm making Africa even ten times more than where you, the places that you are going? Africa is coming together. He's coming back to take his good clothes. In my country, I saw a fan in Tumapai, the Ephra. That means that he will take his good clothes to wear. Now the clothes Africa is wearing is nasty. It's dirty. It's this and so people don't want to associate. People don't want to do the But now, Mokoromasa, even the hair that you think is a kinky hair and all that, you begin to understand in Africa, you begin to understand as many go, many are flow. You see many to a point that you're going to see America empty. Because they have forgotten their first love. The evil on the land of Africa. It is season. The evil of the land of Africa is you see that you see that those witchcraft and all that say time will come you can't even find some because they're going to pass certain law that if they see you at which they'll cut your head off so people will just want to do you understand because the enemy has manipulated to destroy they have made you makoromasa and some have been brainwashed and been brainwashed and thinking this are our ancestor destiny no it's the demonic powers that have have controlled the land for years of century and have destroyed the land pass on to generation to generation because i am ending all hey koromasa father we just want to thank you we just want to thank you you say this thing that is not going to be long that you're going to see it happen. Okay. People will desert their job and they just go. And America will beg. They will try so many. But watch and see. Don't be surprised that time is coming, a time will come. That they will try to make some of the countries in, especially my own country, Ghana, and certain countries, America will try to make it part of America because of what God has made the country. They will try to make it like the way they have made some of the island and they claim that it's there. You understand? They will try to negotiate with the, with the government and the country that it, we want to make America like this. And the Africans will say, no, now we are okay. We just don't. But they will do everything to make it, just like to merge it together. You see how they merge this university that the Lord said they're going to uh, perimeter more. Now, when the Lord said, I will make Georgia State to buy perimeter, to make it to one, so that my people, some of my people that will go through perimeter, that doesn't have money to pay all the full amount, they will go there and it will be the same thing. You understand? You see very soon. They will start negotiating and talking to. I won't be surprised. They start talking to the gov the president now. Start talking that oh, they want to bring, they want to make the country. Do you understand? Don't be surprised that very soon that they start giving even Africa some of the country visa free. Don't be surprised. Let me tell you, the land will be so good that you will not need the the you to travel to go anywhere. Father, we just want to thank you and bless you this morning for your word over the land of Africa. The Africa will rise again and stand on its feet. Africa's head will be lifted up. It will blossom again. You are changing our leadership. The leadership. Every leadership everywhere. Father, you, you, take, them, you take some out and bring some in. There will be a total new leadership. You are doing this across the globe. Who will hear your voice? Who will listen to you and do what is on your heart? And know the needs of the youth. And hear the cry of the youth. And do exactly what you want. Nigeria will not be the same. Nigeria will not be the same. The politics and the, the politician, the politics in Nigeria will totally change. The corruption, Masiki, you see, the time has come to end the corruption in Africa in general. Father, we just want to thank you and just want to bless you, give you the praise and the adoration. Thank you for what you have done. Our eyes will witness it. We will live in it. Father God, we will live and testify of your word. We we'll give you the praise. We we'll give you the adoration for bringing us to our knees, for bringing America to their knees, that they will remember also their first love. 
which is you, God. I thank you that they will put you first in everything. I give you the praise. I give you all the adoration. I thank you, Lord, as I seal the prayer and the answers of the prayer with the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. It's time for your offering or tithe, you know, give online. Those of you who want to give all the, um, the offering bowl or you give online, praise the Lord. R-I-M-A-T-L dot com. You can go online. R-I-M rim www dot R-I-M-A-T-L dot com. And then you see the giving. You can give from there. You can give WhatsApp. Yeah, I say WhatsApp. Uh, how, and, mm, cash app you can give on paypal so many ways you can give amen god bless you let's share the grace may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forever surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of you amen emmanuel Continue and continue to go to school to become the architect, okay? You're going to be one of the greatest uh, architects in this world. You'll be so known in Africa. So many buildings and so many things. The top, 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 top building. Listen to this. But be very careful about girls. Only girls. Your, your glory. I see a woman that will take your glory. Your downfall will be so be distant and continue to go and pray fervently when the time come for you when it time a time come for you to get married okay if not you see how destiny get diverted and get destroyed and you will not achieve your dream yours is a woman so you be careful when a woman come around pray fervently say God is this one you have picked for me make sure you hear God make sure God show you before don't go and fall in love before now when God is telling you you can't pull out because your destiny is you'll be known as the best and the greatest architect in this world. Amen. You will be known in India when you talk about top, top, because there is new infrastructure that coming to this world. Do you understand? The Africa will be known. Africa will be number one. Let me tell you, Africa is coming to be number one in this world. Market somewhere. Africa, continent of Africa. You'll be shocked. China will not come. Uh -uh. But they will also try to come and take over. But they cannot take over. Because God is raising up some men. Do you understand? There are some men that are coming. Certain young men that are coming. That they are coming that nobody can stop them. They are coming with a, you know, like a force. That they are coming. They are coming to Africa. They are, like, they are coming like this. And nobody can stop them. If the government tried to stop them, ah, Karamasa, the whole entire government will be killed. Because God intends to do this. He wants to show the world that he can raise and can bring it down. Yeah. Do you understand? He wants to show that so many people secretly praying, praying that nobody knows them. And God has promised and has given his word. This thing here, he also spoke way in advance. And now, Ah, I give God a praise that it's our turn that this thing is about to happen. Very soon. Very soon. Tell your neighbor, nobody is broke. Say, ain't nobody going to be broke. Mm -hmm. 